What's up guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a mod menu from scratch like installing visual code and all that because some people will always download the wrong um, visual studio um, and then they complain their menus not working or the mods don't show up so I thought just in this video I'll clear it all up so all you want to do is click onto the first link in the description it will lead you to here you want the purple visual studio 2022 not visual studio code go on community free download let that download you just want to open it up and click on it yes and then you click continue get it installed and once you're on here you just wanna hold on no load i for this i'm just gonna uninstall visual studio just so it's easier so i'll be back when it's in uninstalled right and guys so when you would originally open it up it will show up saying you haven't installed anything or you want to go in on is do available go on to visual studio community this one here and just click install and then on here you want to get the dot net and then scroll down game development with unity you you just want those two um it will be six gigabytes as it's just installing it so yeah I will be back once it has installed. Right then guys, it has um installed Visual Studio Community. So we just let that load. You might say sign in but you can just skip for now. You can choose what theme you want. And on the development settings you need to get visual c with hashtag so c sharp and then start visual studio this will come up all you need to do now is just close off it um click on to the second link in the description what will lead you to oxize clients discord um go to down to templates use luke skies or currently if you know how to use it this menu temp here by outspect um as sign syncs menu is a bit buggy at the moment um but what we need to do is download the file um just saying Sometimes the colors and the menu do work on Luke Skies, but sometimes they don't. It's a weird glitch, what we're we trying to fix. So, yeah. So, if you if the colors don't work, I'll show you where to put the colors, but the colors don't work at the moment. Just wait for a fix. You just wanna um, extract it. Then you wanna go onto the temp mango temp click the cs proj let it load this will come up so sometimes all you need to do is, as we gain a lot of errors, and I'm not sure why. Oh well. Anyway, you'll be getting a lot of errors, as you can see. All you need to do is, if this screen here is like, there's nothing there, you just want to go to Window, Reset Window Layout, yes, and you'll get it back. And if this is just blank here, you want to go into mod, um, no, mod menu patch, how many patches, 
and then menu patch and then it will take you back here I'm going to start fresh with all the mods so I'm going to remove them all the way down to the if on number 3 just backspace and then you can get rid of one of them as yeah um, anyway clear out them and to get rid of all the errors you want to go on dependencies assemblies click on O harmony scroll down to websocket hold shift click right click and remove then you want to right click on dependencies add project reference browse um, find out where your um your Gorilla Tag library is, and before we do that, you do need Monkey Mod Ma Monkey Mod Manager. So you can just go and Google and search up Monkey Mod Manager. I will have the GitHub in the description. Will be the third link to Deadly Kittens Monkey Mod Manager. You just want to click onto it. Download it, open it, OK, then find where your Gorilla Tag EX is. If it's on Steam, you just have to go into your Steam files in Gorilla Tag, three dots, search the files and TC the Gorilla Tag EXE, click on that, OK. But if you're on Oculus, what I'm using, you want to go on to your Oculus. Um, files so it would be oculus right so program files it might be different on your computer you might have it in your d drive but i have it in my c drive but you want to find oculus software software gorilla tag gorilla tag that exe add add but make sure you've added that on um your monkey mod manager and get the reference managed now after you've done that um you just wanna click on browse bepinex plugins utila and one last thing now i'm thinking about it if you don't if you don't have bepinex or utila you just wanna go into plugins click bepinex click utila and install an update then you should get your bepinex folder after you've clicked browse again you want to go back to bepinex core highlight them all hold shift click oh how many 20 and click that and then after that you want to go to gorilla tag gorilla tag data manage scroll all the way down to steam vr actions scroll up Hold down control and click net standard. Then add. And the last time you just wanna come to Techni and scroll down to all the way bottom, add, and then OK. And then just let that go. Alright, and once it's done, it will show the references invalid or unsupported. Just ignore that. Click OK. Then OK again. And look, you have no errors. And while we're up here, it says file written text. So if you get any errors, you just want to get rid of all these the Azora template and then just type your menu name in and then here is where you put your mod names so every time you put a name it adds a button so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do platforms so on platforms you want to come to application quit you wanna come here, click enter, do if if that comes up, you just wanna copy and paste this here. Copy and then paste. Then put the two to a three. Then enter, backspace, do curly brackets, then open. And then you just wanna do come on, say again. If you want to know what your main thing is, internal class, it's menu patch. So, as you can see here, menu patch is your internal class. So, what you need to do is come here, menu patch dot 
process. As you can see, it's already got pre-made mods on here on this template. Um, remember, if the template's not really working, just pull it into the um, Discord and we'll help you as much as possible. But because we're doing platforms, platforms is process platform monkey. Brackets. And then, yeah. If you have your own code, what you want to add, um, you just want to do if the if one again or I do have some pre-made code from um, different discords but this is only for um, just for this while I'm it's just for the vid um, anyway if I want to do say if I want to add a bug mod Eat that. I would copy this or wherever you get it from the different discords. Come here, enter, enter, paste. It would say that then. Now you want to come up here and you want to search menu patch dot eat bat and then you just want to add. Eat bat, and then you would have made the eat bat. But if you do have any mods, um, what is just code and it does not have public static void at the top of it, um, all you want to do is then you just want to go if buttons active brackets. See if I can find one on a Discord for. Um, just for showing, so on the postcode or whatever, if you do get one and it's like the heavenly, oh, yeah, it's something like this. Um, if it's just if it has nothing and if if it's just that one line of code, um, you just wanna copy that, or if you just give me one second, say like long arms, um, you just wanna highlight that, copy. And then paste. If you want long arms and then click the button to reset it, you just want to do enter, backspace, curly bracket open, enter, backspace one, else, enter, you grab this code here, you paste it. Never mind, I think it's a bit. Never mind, just. Just ignore that. Just yeah. Anyway, you've got the code, and that will give you lung arms. And yeah, same with like spaz monkey. If buttons are active, and then say if I'd like spaz monkey as there's two brackets here you just want to go to the first one if you really put the curly brackets in and then you want to paste and then that would be buzz monkey and then you just put it here right then if you want to change the name of your menu you just want to find where is it where is it gone You just want to find here, there's MS, MS temp FPS. Don't get rid of the FPS, just get rid of the MS, MS temp. And then put your, your mod name there, and I'll be at the top. 
these are for for the menu to change colors but currently they sometimes work but they sometimes don't so if it works it works it, if it doesn't it doesn't it's a weird glitch but yeah that's how you make a mod menu from the start fully guys have any questions don't put them in my youtube comments in the discord if you don't have discord put them in the comments anyway oh well anyway oh yeah one last thing if you want to put it in to like your gorilla tag you just want to click build at the top build solution let it build and as soon as it said build succeeded you want to go back into files obj debug net standard 2.1 and then it will be the mango call menu if you're using the msms temp one and you could just name it to your mod or whatever your mod's name is and then you want to open up your monkey man manager gorilla tag utilities weapon folder plugins so you just want to drag and drop into there and yeah that's how you make your own mod menu and if you guys want some of the if you guys want to test out some mods menus what are currently out and undetected like the best ones that's also in arcsize client you just want to go to announcements scroll up to see this click onto my website and i'll also have this in the description and you can get the best mods here like arcsize client dc's camera mod if you want the paid one you do have to join the discord because obviously it's paid but yeah that's how you make a mod menu if you guys need any help obviously you just say otherwise yeah see you guys later peace